Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Double Jackpot. Please like and hit the subscribe button and we'll get right into this video. This video is going to be three part. It's going to be, first we're going to discuss Christopher Mitchell and life's downward spiral. Then we're going to talk part two about what you're good at and capitalizing on what you're good at to, to build wealth for yourself. And then three, how many of y'all have addictions and just are tired of gambling or tired of losing where you just want to try to figure something else to do, whether you're looking to invest your money, whether you're looking to save your money, whether you're looking to buy a house, a car, what you could do with your funds instead of gambling it away. So let's go into the part one, Christopher Mitchell and his wife. It's got to be miserable being married to somebody like a Christopher Mitchell. You know, he's always, you know, he plays these games. At first, he doesn't know exactly, how do I say this? He doesn't know how to pitch the whole routine. He's like, my wife's just fine with it. Her parents were against it. Uh, she supports me. You have to have somebody supporting. Well, no, absolutely you don't have somebody. If somebody's not supporting you, quit doing it. You're not, it's not like you're doing something positive. You're gambling. Christopher and people out there, listen to me. Gambling is risk. You're not going to make money every single day. You're not going to have what he says, 99% winning strategies. You're not going to uh, build well of doing this over time. The longer you play, the more you're going to lose or the more you're going to get behind. See, that's where, that's where this fool Christopher Mitchell loses a lot of people in these videos he says he does this for a living if he did this for a living he wouldn't be on here making videos asking you for five thousand dollars to be in his inner facebook circle following him around he wouldn't be asking you for money to go play roulette on a online casino and mirror his bets if he was very wealthy he would not be asking you guys for a dime. You know, he always has a reasoning, and all his reasoning is BS. You know, BS. Oh, I, I can't, my time is valuable. Look, your time's not valuable. The longer you gamble, the more you're losing. You know, why aren't you playing in these casinos, these brick and mortar casinos? This guy does not have answers that I would, I mean, they're just so weak, and they're just so pathetic, and they're just such BS. You're looking at a guy that once had a small bankroll, it was ministerial. You're looking for somebody that had poor credit, never owned, never owned a house, never owned any real assets. Look, they have one car between them. They don't even have a get around car for each other. They don't even have, you know, anything. So my point is don't believe, if you're gonna, if you're gonna follow somebody Follow somebody you can trust. He's not a trustworthy guy. Anybody that puts his hand on the Bible numerous times and gets caught in the lies, people have exposed his lies. That's all I'm saying. I hope you guys believe me. I'm speaking from the heart. I have nothing to gain. One one thing I'm just trying to tell you. You have people up here with their channels that are giving you the stats, telling you how the game is played, how the negative expectations are, telling you all the you know, way smarter mathematicians, MIT scholars that have told you about the game. This 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 fool Christopher is telling you about basic strategy was invented by the casino, so it helps them out. Let me tell you something. Anytime you get eights, aces, splittable cards, stuff where you can double down on and actually get a little bit of an edge, why would you not do that? His no bust strategy. Oh my God, that's a recipe for disaster. I mean, the guy is a complete fool. Christopher is a is a con man, and the reason he's out here asking for this five thousand dollars, and I, I don't know how many people he's lured into giving this kind of money, but if you just do the simple math, he's got enough suckers and enough desperate people out there that have that he's preyed upon. So, starting from here and going forward, do not trust him do not invest in him don't buy anything don't buy his stupid books any of his books please don't do that 
let's get on to part two. Part two. What are you guys thinking of other than gambling? You know, you already, some of you guys, if you're just wasting money and you're not winning, maybe you should look into investing your money wisely in, into yourself and into your future. You're, a lot of you guys are so young, have great income. Invest in yourself, you know. I'm telling you, the number one way to invest in yourself is through paying off all your debt, paying your bills, paying off your car, putting extra money towards your house payment if you have one. But paying off your debt is an instant raise. After you get debt free and you build an emergency fund three to six months, then you can look into investing. Or you can still look into investing, but you know, paying off debt is instant, you know, access to more funds for investing. And I really highly encourage real estate as your number one choice for investing. Flipping, rehab, distressed properties, none of this late night TV show crap, none of this leveraging, none of this borrowing money. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can educate yourself by joining a good mentoring group in your area, in your state, in your city. You can join, you can join uh, passive income groups. Like I said, that's what I'm gonna be offering. If you're interested, leave your name and email and your way to get a hold of you. Like I said, I'm always looking. I've always done deals on my own, but I'm looking to do multifamily, small apartments, RV parks, uh, if I didn't say mini storage, uh, Airbnbs, very hot, and uh, real estate is the way to wealth. You're not gonna always get lucky and hit the right stock but that's a great investment over a long stretch of time and always reallocating and checking your positions. And then third, addictions. We've all had problems in our lives. Maybe we have, maybe some of you haven't. I've never had any addictions, thank God, but we've had uh, tough things we have to work through. And I'm saying, use the positive en energy that you have to building and investing in yourself, you're, you're the only one who's gonna be able to take care of yourself. You and your family, you and your spouse, significant other, children, you gotta rely on one another. Y'all can think of building passive income together through real estate. That's one thing, if you don't wanna do it through a, a syndication or through your through a, an investment group, you do it on your own, do it with your family, or do it, do it yourself. But get educated. Just don't run out there and think you're buying the first piece of real estate that falls in your lap. You gotta do your homework and make sure that's the piece of property or the place that's gonna make money for you. You gotta do a lot of homework. But have I had 100% success in the real estate? 100% yes. Never had one issue, one problem, one thing. Knock on wood, I'm not bragging. Uh, it's been it's been great for my family, um, me and my wife love it, and uh, we continue to look at that. So in your comments, leave me what you're trying to get out of life, what you're working for, what your what your goals are. You know, not everything has to be a winning strategy for Baccarat, Roulette, Blackjack, you know, those are, those are things I wanna say are for fun, but if you're looking for that to build wealth, like this moron's trying to say in his little book is 3% to build a million dollars at the end of the year. Come on, that's foolish. You know, if I bought a $100,000 piece of property, you know, if everything goes right and I was gonna do a flip on it, I, I would be looking at somewhere around 170 to 180,000, but you know what? Would I pass up the first 150? Probably not. That's on a flip of, of making $50,000 in less than a couple of two, three months. My point is, you've got to do things that you can control. You can't control your gambling. You can't, you know, if you guys absolutely have addictions, leave, leave me your email. And, and, and let's think about fixing it where you're not addicted to something that's, that's causing stress in your life, causing you issues, causing you hurt, causing your wife or your family to be burdened or your children. You know, so if you, you guys out there are listening to this video, you know, I'm just driving, speaking straight from the heart. I mean, I want y'all to be healthy and, and happy and not have this stress in your life. You know, you get into this uh, Christopher Mitchell's way of life, that's not a way to live. 
you know it's not the glitter and glamorous of a penthouse suite it's not these five-star meals he's doing let me tell you just stick with watching how his life is spiraled I guarantee you what's going on in this conversation in that house is please Christopher I love you please stop and she may not even say that there's not a, there, there's it kind of looks like there's been tension from a, for a long time and uh, I think you relied on a lot of you guys five thousand dollars your four hundred dollars your three hundred dollars your thousand dollars I think you found a lot of people in the very beginning to pay this money to for him to live like this the only thing keeping his whole gambling addiction is one one thing and that's y'all the people out there on YouTube the people he can con okay without without you guys replenishing his bankroll or giving him money to live off of he's not doing it by playing five bucks on roulette you know so guys let's try to fix the problems we can fix control the things we can control be reasonable with what we expect and whatever you do think what think about it if it's something that sounds like it's a con con man's strategy just use common sense half the things in life you can figure out just by just taking a breath and not getting lured in by some false hope so I know this video has gone, gone on a way lot longer than I wanted to y'all have a great rest of your Sunday start off Monday being productive whatever you can fix in your life try to fix steer the course and get on a right path and you know leave me your emails leave me your uh, information leave me your thoughts like I said my email is doublejackpot01 at gmail.com and I'll, I'll reach out to you I promise I've reached out to so many people already I've made some friends I've made some contacts and there's a lot of good people out there that really do want to get uh, headed in the right direction. And whatever I can do to help you guys, I will do. If nothing else, the advice is, you know, something y'all can consider. Because I do it every day. I work with it every day. And don't quit your job. And do not think just because you're behind an eight ball right now, it's forever. Things are going to get better. And just don't think it's going to get better through the casino. And do not believe this Christopher Mitchell. It's a fake, false hope with a bunch of BS. Talk to you soon on the next video.